I'm Scott Denning and I'm a professor of atmospheric science at Colorado State University. Today we're going to talk about the greenhouse effect, how it works, and why it's important for climate change. All of the energy, energy that comes into the Earth, the Earth has to get to the Earth by, by e electromagnetic radiation. By, by, by electromagnetic radiation. The energy that comes from the sun is not enough to keep us warm here at the surface. Two thirds of the energy that warms us up at the surface of the Earth is from the warm air that also radiates these waves. It all came from the sun, but some of it gets recycled. It goes up, it gets caught by these little greenhouse molecules and sent back down. CO2 and H2O together constitute less than 1% in our atmosphere. Okay? Okay! Okay? Okay! Let's talk a little bit about those molecular dances. The energy comes up from the Earth, hits the molecule, and it's vibrating like... Molecular dances. It could go... Or de-excite and send that energy back out. But they don't really do much. There's not a heck of a lot you can do with two balls on a stick. CO2 is different. It can also do other stuff. Because it's got three atoms, it can go... Molecular dances. Let it go. Or it can go. Or it can go. Or it can go. So the H2O molecule is even better at dancing and vibrating than the CO2 molecule because it can go like that, but it can also go or it can do this swing thing. It can even do handsprings. I, I'm not going to try that here. That would be kind of dangerous. Bonus track. Tell me if you've heard this one. Modern wealth is due only to the subsidy of cheap fossil fuel. Coal wheel freeze in the dark. Oh my god, the sky is falling! Oh my god, the sky is falling! Global warming is based on common sense. It's not based on computer models, it's not based on recent temperatures, and it's not complicated.